Hey guys, so welcome to my room. Uh, Jade is driving on the road for the first time. We got fish, and y'all, you guys are coming with me. <laughs> LA! So guys, good morning. It is currently 8.40 a.m. So yeah, today we're gonna go to the apartment. I'm gonna get ready. And AirPod gang, I wanted to share something earlier. I showed my parents something called 8D Audio. Oh my God. You guys gotta check it out. I found it on YouTube. Here's a reaction. <laughs> literally, it's just like, it literally feels like they're right behind you. And I just think it's the new feature of mp3 and music and just immersive audio is really cool So if you are an artist, I would highly look into like 360 virtual reality audio I will link below the video I showed them. It just sounds so good. I'm gonna get ready and I'll catch you guys after breakfast Ooh, I'm gonna get used to these palm trees Yes, 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 yes <laughs> When the clients put the money in <laughs> We finished lunch. It's actually currently like only 11. We're going to the apartment around 1 12 ish, but we have to get the car fixed. First, we went to get a car wash. Second, we gotta change the oil. When we get to the apartment, the agenda is actually just to prepare and just to transition, just to pack shit. It's my first time kind of like doing this, so I might have to like, get some groceries. Just the festives. I'm moving in, y'all. You guys are coming with me. <laughs> what? Okay. Crabby crab. We're here. Oh my god. These are the keys. And then the gold of the key opens this. <laughs> so I met kind of like the girl who I was making the place with, with, but it's so nice. I was really happy. Like it was actually just like kind of bigger than I expected. Like now we're walking kind of to a like university area where this is like where I would basically be like hanging out with, right? My apartment is basically like right by University Village. And if you guys don't know what University Village is, it's like it's like where all the students hang out with, like Trader Joe's, Target. You guys didn't know, my dad's a USC Trojan, if you can't tell. You guys, I just met a YouTuber here. <laughs> His name is Jalen. Shout out to Jalen. Yeah, I mean like the beautiful thing, the beautiful thing about California is like people just vlog naturally. Portland, all I knew is like people would just be like, what the fuck if you like did this. So for everyone wondering how to get followers, um, just like invade and abuse people, you know, like in person, and then you'll get their Instagram, and then they'll follow you. All right, <laughs> we're done here. Let's go. So it's currently like 2 p.m. That was USC campus. We're going to University Village over there. I think you can like describe this as like food, hanging out, and just buying shit you need to survive. It's a billion-dollar building, so we're gonna we're gonna check it out. Your damn joke. Hey guys, so welcome to my room. So we have this. <laughs> Come here. We got two spacious mirrors, and then the bathroom is just a bathroom. But I'm still figuring it out because low key, these are actually two beds. I just like put together, and I want to film like this way because the lighting is. So we're gonna figure it out. I think we're gonna go downstairs, and I'll show you guys in a second. So uh, Jane is driving on the roads for the first time. So let's see if she is uh, LA ready. Look, show them the roads. I know that it's Portland ready, but let's see if it's LA ready. <laughs> So first impressions is people love to race here, just like cut everybody. And if you're not driving the speed limit, you're gonna piss people off. And there's really nice cars you don't want to hit, like that one right there. <laughs> so guys, we are doing the final send off. I'm at my parents' hotel. Hold on a second, hold on a second, before you start. What's this for? Hold on a second, hold on a second, it's coming. Okay. It's over. <laughs> Bye, guys. Take care, Sam. <laughs> I'm gonna see you guys literally in a month. Okay, I'm on the road alone. Holy shell <laughs> Uh, hi guys, so I'm driving and vlogging in LA for the first time. I'm not trying to be over dramatic. <laughs> I don't want to fuck up, you know? My GPS is fucking up already. I'm driving in LA. I'm 17. Hi, I'm alone. I dropped out my parents. You guys know what's up. This is really weird. Like, I actually don't, you guys don't realize, like, I've never, I'm an only child, and I've always lived with my parents. And this is not some type of move where I'm like 15 minutes away from mom and dad, like, no bitch. Like, I'm a thousand miles away from home. 
and there's a fucking car right there. Okay, I'm gonna focus, bitch. So I I'm gonna see you guys right when I get to my apartment. I'll properly show you what's up. I have to actually run a few errands, like get new sheets. I have to get like a mirror and then like probably dinner and then I have to fix my car and I'll catch you guys when I'm back home. Hey guys, so I am in my apartment. You guys come take a look. That's my room right there. Oh, I kind of moved the mirrors. I'm gonna do actually in part three, I will just kind of insert how I really changed my room. But I thought I'd just chit chat with you guys. So I went to Trader Joe's and I got some stuff. I will honestly check in with you in a little bit. I have to kind of like do some shit. I gotta get some groceries. And we're gonna go get some soap. Like my hands are really dirty. I'm so sorry, that's like really gross. And then I'm gonna go get something to eat for tonight. Hey. To my kitchen. Yeah. I went to Trader Joe's. We got Brussels sprouts. We got fish. So we're gonna cook some dinner together and then I'll call it a night because tomorrow I have a jam packed day and we're gonna make some really good meal. Ready? <laughs> so, <laughs> um, I, I don't think it looks that bad. It's Brussels sprouts, noodles, these like fish tofu cake. Let me try it. Um, Chef Boy RD, yes. Guys, um, I kind of did a thing where I realized that USC in this area I am in is not a safe place for a 17 year old girl But I literally drove all the way to Hollywood and went to Urban Outfitters I literally just want to give you guys a narrative. I'm gonna close this video off with one thing. I literally started bawling in the car like I just fucking realized I'm in Los Angeles. This is my dream and I'm so grateful and I don't know why I was literally driving just through downtown because when you go to Hollywood like you kind of go through like downtown Los Angeles and I saw all the big buildings and you know huge corporations and I just looked up and I just started bawling like I don't know what else to say other than to document this moment and just show the gratitude I had like I think I just had a huge gratitude for the dreams that were made here all the companies built here all the respect all the grind in LA you know people chasing their dreams and I just started bawling you know looking at all the you know, ABC, Netflix, all the big brands. I was just looking at people who changed the world. I don't fucking just say this right now. I feel like I'll just never be content. I don't think you can ever be too grateful. And with that being said, thank you for watching this video. Really, guys, I'm gonna work so hard for you all. Like, I just wanna help you, and that makes me really happy. And it's helping you chase your own dreams. It's like, that's all I do in life. So I want to help you guys more. Let me know your thoughts about these vlogs. If you want more lifestyle stuff, let me know. I'm just like literally sitting outside my apartments, bawling. Um, like tears. Oh, there's a creepy person. I better fucking go. All right, love you all. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Good morning, everybody. My name is Jade, and welcome to my LA vlogs. I'm so excited for you to <laughs> be here. I woke up at 6.20, it's like 6.40 now, and I moved in yesterday. And as I transition and moving in, it's hella awkward. There's a few things that school doesn't teach you about living alone at 17, so the agenda today is pretty packed. I actually have lots, lots of meetings, and I have to get ready for today, so I thought I'd bring you guys along. This bed is really squeaky. I thought I'd bring you guys along and just show you what it's really like because I feel like a lot of people sugarcoat the life of LA or they just bubble wrap it and they don't talk about like A, B, and C. I know a lot of you guys want to move down or just go after your goals and travel. So we're gonna break it down. I'm gonna educate you on things you should know if you want to move out and also just this place is so big and I've already made awkward accountances. Like literally yesterday, I went to Hollywood. Parking was $8. Awkward. Yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect number. Okay, so we're gonna go to the gym. This is the outfit for the gym. So I'm walking to the gym. Now as I'm walking, it's like Memorial Day, so I'm like, there's no one here. And I just realized LA is the best when no one's awake because traffic's the worst. I'm a people person for sure, but I thrive under situations where no one's awake. I feel really empowered. You can walk to like Trader Joe's and stuff. If you guys saw my last vlog, I'll link it below. I will link this in order because this is such a big change for me. Like my parents aren't here. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go to the gym. Okay, so I just wrapped up from the gym. I'm gonna go to Creation Juice Bar right now. <laughs> and I'll show you guys why. It's actually kind of for a gross reason. I don't know why I'm telling you guys. But I need to get some juice for a very personal 
<laughs> a very personal reason. I feel like you guys don't want to hear this shit, literally. But making sure your body's on point and your health is checked. It's important, so I actually have to basically, I can't shed. Or as ladies say it, like they make it all proper and they're like, I'm bloated. By the way, men or boys, when your girl says I'm bloated, she really means she just wants to shit at her hearts out because she ate way too much food. I said that so loudly. Okay, so we're gonna get something to cure that and I'm so sorry. Okay, we're gonna go to Creation G Spot. So I've been driving for like a fat 10 minutes and there's this thing, it says I'm right by the Creation Juice Bar, but guess what? I can't find the Creation Juice Bar. It's just a green wall. Come on, tell me. It's just a green wall. Oh, I'm about to go to Beverly Hills to go to Creation. I don't know why though. It, it, <laughs> I'm gonna go drive there right now and see if I make it in time because I have a meeting. I made it to the Creation Bar. I'm right by Beverly Hills. I think I'm right by Macy's house. If you guys don't know Macy, she's like my LA mom, number one. I might go say hi, but I'm, yeah, the Creation Juice Bar is like a minute away. Talking, so I usually like listen to an audiobook. Like the one thing I realized, because LA traffic is so severe, you gotta make your time worth it. And for me, I have so much joy in literally just talking to you guys, audiobooking or anything like that. Just so much fun. I just checked with Macy. What is the juice that makes you shit? <laughs> enhancer, okay. I ordered the poop enhancer smoothie. That's smoothie, that's this one. Oh, got it, got it. Okay. I'm doing a creation haul. <laughs> I've just been having a problem eating food, then getting bloated, then not eating because I had just so much food in my stomach. And the thing is, I ask all my guy friends and no one has this problem except just my girl, my girl gals. So if you're a dude, just skip, like literally, literally just skip 30 seconds. If you're a girl, listen, it's normal. I don't know what the fuck is happening. It's just so painful. It literally just feels like your stomach is so full to the brim because you just ate food and you can't, t like you can't, exit it out so you just feel so trapped it's more of a mental thing you get so self-conscious and you just look like you're pregnant i hope for the best i'm gonna try it when i'm home and if you guys were curious it's from creation juice bar and it is called the poop enforcer we're gonna i'll do a quick review on it if it works so i'm back home and i'm gonna try this poop juice oh interesting it just tastes like tea <laughs> i just finished breakfast dude my dad just texted me a few photos when I just got started with this whole social thing. If you guys are new here, I basically am a full-time, I'm a full-time internet person. Like I do YouTube, but I also have companies on top that help people grow on social. So with building my business, I didn't know where to start. So this was me a year ago. It's so scary, dude. I legit wrote May 2018, moved to California. I did not know what I was thinking and it says here like I try to map it out and ironically it did never turn out exactly like this the fuck like it says May 2018 and I moved here May 27th I was choking on my fucking toast I didn't even eat toast I ate these like Indonesian toast crepes but like literally you guys like I don't want to hear anything else other than like Jade my dreams are not big like literally like you guys can dream so much bigger if you want to move to LA this entire series is to help someone who wants to live their dream in LA literally don't even like put it on a board I guess that's what I did map out how you want to like make a financial vehicle to get there if money's a problem and just do it don't think too much about like the, the spine steps just like put it out and then make a vision board and i don't know why i wrote may 2018 like that is so freaky because i didn't like this whole thing was very sporadic like i found this place very sporadic i wanted to move like literally in like a week of deciding it was just me after like working so hard for like a couple months that i just made the commitment but like holy shit that's is that freaky like i Anyways, so it's currently <laughs> it's currently like 9 a.m. I have a meeting at 10 a.m. Then I have another meetup at 11 a.m. And then I have a meeting at 2 p.m. And then I think I have one more coaching call at 5 p.m. And then I think I'm free for the rest of the day. I might hang out with my friends from home. It's a little busy, but I'm gonna try to take you along. The first step to get ready is to do my makeup and get dressed. So my So this is the finished look. I just applied my lip gloss. This is Dior Lip Maximizer. I really like it. Out of time until you have your So I just finished my first meeting. Sometimes I have really shitty clients <laughs> and sometimes I have clients that are just supportive. Like, I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna go off to my next like meetup. There's my toilet. <laughs> I'm gonna use that later. <laughs> okay, that was weird. So one thing I learned living in LA is bring water everywhere 
in, especially in traffic, some water. I use my hydro flask because I love red. Can't you tell? Can't you tell? Okay, we're gonna go to the car. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, bitch? I'm meeting my friend Hassan, but he brought his like random ass squad. I'm joking, I'm joking. I have a lot of entrepreneur friends crushing it. It's really cool to see these guys because they've been with me since like day one. Nice to see you. How are you? My name's Jade. Chris. What's up, Chris? What do you guys do? Um, it's e commerce. Whoa, he's an accent. Where are you from? London. Oh my god! Okay. Uh, so the closest thing right now is Beverly Hills. Okay. So let's hit up the Bugattis. Okay. Hassan's getting a Tesla. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, uh, I do want a Tesla. You want a Tesla? Same. But more importantly, I want to move out by the end of the year. Instead. Move out? Someone's watching this and wants to give me a 458 Italia, the Special version, straight out of Italy. <laughs> So I'm at Rodeo again. I just finished like lunch with my boys. We just talked about business, sales, and I actually ironically have to close a sale right now. So I'm going to the coffee shop and calling up the client and I'll let you know how it goes after. Like typically I like to go home, but I'm kind of like in the middle of Rodeo. So we're gonna try to make it work. I've done this before, like outside of my home. Should be fine. Why haven't you, why haven't you posted? Hey guys, I'm back in the car. So I'm gonna go back home driving. I have a meeting to catch really soon. So we're gonna skirt, skirt. A little bit of getting that reciprocity in. Hey guys, so I finished up my meeting. I literally like ran home after you guys saw that last clip because I was so late. It's like 4 p.m. Nope, it's like 5 p.m. Oh, <laughs> those are my friends. I don't know, like I'm living alone and it's just hitting me how much like it's just so fun and I love LA but I'm also growing, which is kind of cool. Like this is nothing negative. It's just like, it's super uncomfortable. Like I go outside and I feel like I'm gonna get like stolen or something. Yeah, but it's also an adventure for me. Like I like the challenge. As I was talking to my students, uh, one of them is actually a fitness influencer. We want it so bad. We just want it so fast. So like we want to be famous now. Like why can't we just be Insta famous? You know, Instagram, I think we get so caught up in having it just now because literally Instagram says Insta. Like now, all want instant packages, everything fast, fast food, fast life, fast cars. Instagram is not helping us. So what do you do if you're not getting it fast? And I think I had to realize that was me. When I showed you guys the diagram of me going to LA, you know, like wanting to plan for it, I want it even sooner. Like I want to move now. So this one gives me my next point. When you receive fast expansion, fast growth, Think about, think about all the people you thought, like Alex from Target, freaking white, white Vans dude, all those memes you saw, they received virality, and a lot of you guys dream just to be viral. You guys dream to get on Ellen. I'm gonna give you guys a story. I never really talk about this, but my family built, um, their, my dad's, my family's business was built to $2 million in two months. To kind of tie this all in, when you want something so fast, so, like, so badly, when you want something so bad, you should wait for it and I think what I'm trying to say is you don't want to grow two million and crash. It's fucking painful. You eat shit and you grow so much and then you go because like you get into a big headspace and then you contract and you fall face on your face. Like it's just painful. Like struggling financially. I always think about it like this guys to close this little thing off. If you want to move to LA, if you want to go to be Instagram famous or YouTube famous, incremental in <laughs> incremental growth points are everything. Don't think about being 10x next year. Think about being 10% better each month. You actually get there. It's just the mindset's different and you actually are patient. You're waiting to work for it. Nothing comes easy. It's fucking life. So I'm gonna stop blabbering. It's currently, yeah, 5 p.m. We're about to head down to Target. What's up? I'm back from Target. Ah, oh, she cute. Okay, so when is that? We are now here at Universal City. It's like 9 p.m. Yeah. And I don't know, they close at like 1.30. What's up? Say hi to my vlog. Yeah. Yeah. What the hell? I thought that was just important. Jade the crayfish. What? Jade the crayfish. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm literally going to go back to Portland. <laughs> so guys, if you notice, I'm eating food. And typically, I wouldn't eat food this late because your girl can't shut this up. I bought a bottle. Catch you guys in the next one. Love you all. Good! Domination! Shout out to the car winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode.